is Spider-Man going to die? So, I've been thinking, um, oh hi, I'm Phil by the way, if you're new to this channel I like to talk about geeky pop culture that I enjoy, things like Doctor Who and in this case the MCU, because I like the MCU um, and I've rarely recently seen, fairly recently seen, Spider-Man Far From Home, saw it on a few days ago at the time of recording. Now what I've been thinking about today more than anything, which has prompted me quite off the cuff to make this video, is I think they might kill off Peter Parker in the next Spider-Man movie. Now look, this is just a hunch at the moment, obviously, but just various things have led me to believe this and so I thought I would let you know what those things were and what prompted my hunch and see what you think. Let me know in the comments below. So obviously, first of all, big spoiler warning for Far From Home. And possibly Endgame as well. Although really, if you haven't seen Endgame by now, what are you playing at? Can you really call yourself an MCU fan? Come on, get to the cinema if you haven't seen it. it we need to help it beat Avatar. So let me go through my somewhat admittedly disjointed thought process about why I think that they may kill Peter Parker, Tom Holland's Peter Parker, off in the next Spider-Man movie. Now the first bit of information I think it's important to keep in mind here is how many films Tom Holland has already done as Peter Parker and as Spider-Man. Far From Home marks his fifth outing as Spider-Man, which makes him already the longest running live action Spider-Man there has been in terms of amount of films. Tobey Maguire only made three, Andrew Garfield only made two. So he's already beating them by two. And with this third film, which we know will inevitably come, he'll be up to six, he will have doubled the maximum so far. We do, however, also know that the MCU likes to lock people in for long contracts, so that by itself is certainly not damning evidence. But it is something to bear in the back of our minds as we think about this. We don't know how many films were on Tom Holland's contract, we don't know how long he wants to stay for. He certainly indicated in interviews that he would like to go on playing the role for a long time, but we don't know if that's just bluster or if that's truthful. I would say at some point, however much you love a role, and you can see this from various people that have been really enthusiastic about roles that they've, they've taken on in the past, see like David Tennant as the 10th Doctor, massive Doctor Who fan, dream role, and yet after three series, four years, he felt like it was time to move on. At some point, it's inevitable that Tom Holland will reach that point where he thinks, I need to do other stuff as an actor to progress my career. He's at the very beginnings of his career, which will hopefully go on for many years. He doesn't want to get, I'm, I'm gonna guess he doesn't want to get too typecast. So, they, you know, he might be thinking about how long he's gonna be staying in this role for. Marvel might be thinking about how long they want to keep paying him more money because inevitably the more films he's in, the higher, Jesse Robert Downey Jr., the higher amount that the star can command. So if every film they have to pay him more than the last, at some point that will become uneconomical for Marvel. Whether or not it's reached that point for either of them yet is unknown, but it's just a factor to bear in mind when we're thinking about it. The next thing that I thought about was that currently no MCU character has had more than three solo films. Iron Man had three, Thor's had three, Captain America had three. There is a chance that Thor will get a fourth, but Captain America definitely hasn't, Iron Man definitely hasn't, nobody else has reached number three yet. There's rumours that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 might be the last Guardians of the Galaxy movie, there's certainly buzz around that. So three solo adventures seems to be the sort of the ballpark figure that the MCU is aiming for before it starts to churn over to a new new generation of heroes. Now, of course, if they think they're going to make enough money and they can get the stars back on board to help them achieve that, I'm sure they would go on. But we haven't seen any evidence of that yet. Let's see what happens with Thor 4 Thor 4 and if that comes to pass. The next thing is, of course, that they've already started laying the groundwork subtly for his replacement. Anybody who knows the comics might know, and anybody who's seen the recent 
um, Into the Spider-Verse movie, the superb Into the Spider-Verse movie, by the way, will know about Miles Morales. Miles is a Spider-Man who originally in the Ultimate Universe took over the reins of Spider-Man after Peter Parker's death. He got bitten by a spider too, yet similar, sometimes you could even say better powers because he's got some additional ones as well as what Peter has. And yeah, and he takes over in the Ultimate in the Ultimate comics in the Ultimate Universe. Now, at some point that universe merged with the main comics continuity and now both Peter Parker and Miles Morales both exist as Spider-Man on the same Earth. You don't need to know any of that. The point, let's stick with the original Ultimate interpretation because I think that's the one that's going to be interesting here. Now, we've had hints at Miles' existence in the MCU already. We've seen his uncle, in fact. That petty criminal that Spider-Man webs his hand to his car in, in Spider-Man Homecoming. That is Miles Morales' uncle, which, if he follows his comic continuity, will go on to be a villain. And in fact, in that scene, he references having a young nephew. He's not name-checked as Miles Morales, and for all intents and purposes, it was an Easter egg. But the groundwork is there. Miles exists in this reality. I can imagine, in the next movie, that they might bring him in, and maybe we even see him get his powers, because in the Ultimate comics, he did get his powers before Peter died, and just didn't use them to become a hero until... Peter died. So I think they're already setting that up, ready to have Miles there to continue the mantle of Spider-Man so they can continue Spider-Man in film after Tom Holland is done with the role. So that is kind of the background to the main reason why I think it, I think it supports the main reason why I think that we may see Peter Parker killed off in the next movie. Last warning, because here are the big spoilers for Far From Home. If you haven't watched Far From Home, and especially the end credit scene, go away now and come back. Okay, you back? Cool. Hope you enjoyed the movie. That post credit scene where Peter Parker's identity is revealed to the world. I've seen a lot of people say after that, well, how, how is, how that, that's going to massively change the dynamic of the next Spider-Man movie. How can he go, you know, what kind of films are we going to get going forward? And I think we're going to get a film dealing with the fallout of that. And I think the, the only way I can say, I can't, I can't see them doing multiple stories. I can't see them doing multiple films with him having his identity revealed. Just look at the comics. After he revealed his identity in Civil War, that was very quickly taken back and retconned so that he hasn't revealed his identity because they find it a lot harder, they, well, they found it a lot harder to tell engaging Spider-Man stories with everyone knowing his identity. And I think you'll find that they'll find the same thing in the movie. So I think they might be planning on doing it. And again, this is all just kind of guesswork, but it'll be interesting to see if I'm proved right. I think they might just be having a film where he has to deal with the consequences of being outed to the world and then there's something that happens that involves him having to sacrifice himself in order to keep his family safe. His family, his friends, his loved ones, keep them safe. At the very end of this next movie, he might have to sacrifice himself. And that will bring the MCU's Peter Parker story to a close. But during that film, they will have set up even more Miles Morales to take over. So it won't be the last Spider-Man film in the MCU, but it might just be with Peter Parker. Look, this is all just wild speculation on my part. There is no leaks here. There is, I have no insider information. This is pure subjecture on my part. I have no idea if I'm right, but it's just a wild theory. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you do you subscribe to this? Do you think this might be what will happen? Let me know. I Going on from that, I have a couple of thoughts about whether or not it would be a sort of counterpoints to why it might not be a good idea to do this. I mean, we haven't even yet seen this version of Peter Parker go up against such iconic villains as Green Goblin, although he might be in the next one. Um, Professor Octavius, Venom, uh, Man, Man Wolf, or 
also there's a knock-on effect for Miles Morales because he's just been the star of a very successful in terms of certainly in terms of critically I'm not sure how it did financially but very critically successful animated movie would this derail that animated series there's always a sequel there's already a sequel in the works would this derail that if they bring in Miles as a live action character this quickly would that kill off the animated spider-verse stuff that Sony's doing I don't know, I hope not, because that stuff's really good. However, I mean, if we are going to switch to Miles in the main MCU, that's, you know, a good probably six years or so off, because you're going to have this Spider-Man Home 3, whatever it's called, probably be something with Home in the title, won't it? This MCU Spider-Man 3 first, and then it'll be another few years before the next Spider-Man movie, so you're probably looking six years away. So... You know, maybe that's enough time for the I for the animated Spider Universe to really grow and establish itself enough so that it wouldn't be affected. I don't know. It's just that's just sort of a couple of counterpoints to why it might not be a great idea. But it might still be what they're thinking. Look, let me know in the comments below what you think. Is this a good idea if they do do it? Would you like it to happen? Do you think it might happen even if you think it's not a good idea? Anyway, whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. And I'll be back for more MCU videos soon, as well as a lot of other pop culture stuff. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.